I'm going to say, I'm going to say, there's the Hallelujah Cure. Thank you very much uh, for your help with that. Um, there are a number of people that are going to join me in a toast this evening, and I'm going to ask all of you to please prepare your drinks. But I'd like to start by telling you uh, why I thought it was so important uh, that we all come together this evening, at least from my perspective. Um, you know, I, I sort of moved here part-time about 12 years ago. Um, and as you, when you move into any community, it's always very difficult to sort of uh, make yourself feel like you belong. Uh, have, uh, have truly bonded. We've been all over the we've been all over the world together. We've been to Israel. We've been to uh, we've been all over the place. But uh, fighting the whole thing. Um, but uh, but what she introduced me to Daryl, I thought to myself, well, you know, I, I didn't think that we'd ever have anything in common. In my politics, my friendship was with Andrea, um, and. A, and you know, I've, like all of us, you know, we've lived a long life and it's been good. And we meet a lot of neat people along the way. But I will tell you that, um, and I have met many, many neat people, but none who as readily, without judgment, without question, without issues, uh, embrace me as a friend so readily and so photographed. Um, and I really, when I saw it, he looked so happy when I saw it, but, uh, but Andrea was there, so I had her cropped out of the picture. Uh, and, and, I, and I said to myself, you know, that's a perfect picture for his retirement party. And the reason why is because we were having a conversation when I took this picture, and, I, and he was telling me that these changes were coming, and I, it took my breath away, because I'm, uh, Andrea and Elsa just have it, had a wonderful dinner on Friday, uh, where the theme was uh, transformation. Um, and I really have come as I've aged to believe and, and, and understand that um, as individuals we have many parts to our lives, younger, midlife, and old, and at each point we can really have a wonderful experience. But we have to embrace it, and we also have to celebrate it. So these transformations, I think, are important. I remember today there was a great article on uh, about Ann Richardson, Governor, former governor of Texas, was passed on. And there's a film in a um, play that's been out about it. And I think she said, Daryl, in her interview when she left, she lost the Texas governor's race to uh, uh, a person who will remain under. <laughs> Thank you. But, but in her first interview, and I really expect her to be depressed and all of that stuff, she looked phenomenal. And she said, What are you doing? She said, I'm doing new things. I'm learning new things. She said, that was a great experience. Time for a new one. And you know, that philosophy is what endeared her to lots of people. And I think that's a good philosophy for all of us to embrace. So with that, um, I think this is a great transition. We've had a, a long run uh, at work and some of your co-workers are going to speak to that because I really have to be a part of that. But I, uh, I think it's a great time to celebrate in, you know, in part look back, but more importantly to look forward uh, to putting up with Andrea nonstop. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, to, to actually going on and learning new things and traveling. And um, By the way, this is one of several celebrations. Uh, you see that uh, it says, uh, we love you, your family, associates, and friends in San Diego and San Antonio. Daryl and Andrea are going to be our guests uh, in San Antonio in a couple of weeks. Actually, we're going to be in, in D.C. and we're going to, Daryl's going to have uh, dinner with uh, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama and about 3,000 other people. Um, uh, but he's going to have dinner on September 13th with them and then we're going up to New York and we're going to, we're going to carouse and I have some surprises there for him. And then uh, uh, in San Antonio, we're going to be in, in my, my home, my home uh, having a similar carne asada uh, and also we'll be on the river. Uh, on a bar to which Andrea hates, but we're going to be on that bar anyway. Uh, and we're going to take her down through, that's right, take, take, it, take them through the famous San Tree River. And then I'm going to show them the Alamo and show them San Jose and San Jose and a whole bunch of other places. So anyway, this is one of several celebrations. Nacho Borrachos, uh, and uh, I'm going to ask Nacho to join me up here and, uh, and say a few words and, uh, and help us in toasting uh, Daryl's grief on this wonderful transformation.
Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to say yes, I am natural of natural rivals, and uh, very very happy to be say that. And he made my life very easy and comfortable because he was one of the calmest, coolest person. No matter what happened, he kept his calm pretty well. And he made life really easy anyway, for the team, working on the team. Because we were working with two different companies at that time. He was with SAIC and I was with CSC. Um, but throughout these years, I left CSC and I've uh, been in touch with Daryl because he really left a good impression and is a very calm, cool, collected person and I wish I could be that. <laughs> so um, I really admire what you do and how you handle things um, and I wish you all the best in your retirement and I look forward to getting some consulting advice from you on how to really retire because I've been challenged with that. And I'm sure I could do that as well, but I just am not organized like Daryl is. So, <laughs> congratulations, and I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, Uncle Daryl, he asked me to step up here, and I, the first thing that, thought, the, that came to my mind was, I love you, and congratulations, and I'm so excited for you. And I plan on filling your retirement with concerts. So you better be there, and um, yeah, no, I just am very excited for both of you, and I'm sure this will be a, a great time of transition, and you'll have to come over and have dinner, and yeah, we'll, we'll make this happen, so congratulations. Oh, I'm an opera singer. <laughs> I like to leave that part out because then people ask me to sing, and no, no, no. <laughs> I've had a few too many that got this for that. But um, <laughs> right? No, right? That's when I start singing the ranchera, but that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, congratulations, and I love you, and I look forward to seeing you more now that you're not working. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, John's brother is here, and I, I should tell you uh, that Daryl's brother is here, John. And uh, John uh, was the first person to arrive, and he arrived with great fanfare and great big bats of I didn't know what, but all of a sudden the house smelled incredible, and, uh, and I really appreciate you being here and bringing uh, the wonderful caviar and the, uh, well, you'll need to tell us what, what's here, and the, and, the, and the Russian vodka. So would you join us in the toast, please? John's Karifa. Well, uh, I've known my brother for at least a couple of years. <laughs> In fact, uh, I was around three years before he ever showed up. I remember when he showed up. He made a, made a, made a lot of noise, and I had to move upstairs. <laughs> but, uh, no, really. I had a very, very nice bed, bedroom that I was very happy with, and it was actually, you know, close to the heater, close to the furnace, so it stayed warm in the wintertime in Cleveland. Then I got exiled upstairs in this, where the last leg of the, the hot water heating system was, and it was cold. I remember that. I was it against you for a long time. But we love you, Uncle I, I, I think that uh, you folks here might be interested just a little bit about our background because I don't know if Daryl's ever talked to you about it. We, uh, I was born in Berkeley, California, and my parents made the terrible mistake of moving back to Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, a terrible error. Uh, and my brother was born in Cleveland. And we lived in, in a house in Metro, Ohio, which is just on the uh, eastern outskirts of Cleveland. And in the summertime, we were exiled willingly to my grandpa and grandma's farm in upstate New York, where we had a quarter mile of beachfront on Lake Ontario. We were forced to swim almost every day. It was wretched. We worked on a farm during the summertime, and then we'd go back to Cleveland and suffer it out. Then we go back to the farm and back and forth and back and forth. Well, in 1959, our parents had the uh, common sense to, to get out of Ohio. 
So we took a little trip across the country for 5,700 miles and looked at a whole bunch of places and wound up here because my dad was here during the war in the Seabees. Okay? En algún, en alguno de ellos, Luis tiene un negocio. Y la Ciudad de México, donde lo recibimos con muchísimo, muchísimo cariño. Aquí, pues estamos con una mujer que adoramos. Y nosotros decimos que atrás de un gran hombre, siempre hay una gran mujer. Pero, aquí, atrás de una gran mujer... Tiene que haber un hombre muy inteligente y muy rico. ¿Qué es el caso? Yo les agradezco mucho que, que, que nos hayan invitado. Uh, Spanish, what he said was, now you know what it feels like. Right? <laughs> uh, sort of, that's what he said. Anyway, uh, on that note, uh, I'd like to invite uh, Lisa to come up and take the mic uh, and join us uh, for a for part of the toast. Here. So short and sweet, um, me and my family and David. So thank you, baby. So Grandpa Daryl is Grandpa Daryl, and was quickly adopted as Grandpa Daryl because because Daryl and Andrea are family, and I think that says it all. When we came first came here to San Diego, um, it wasn't just Casa that welcomed us here. It was Andrea and Daryl that were a huge part of that, and that uh, to this day, and in your card when you read your card, the traffic duty just increased. <laughs> so, <laughs> so get ready. But um, but I'm just glad that. Uh, my grandparents are here with me, and I'm glad that um, when they go back home to Tucson, and when they go to El Paso, they have family, but they also have family here, and they have... ...rare nowadays that people really care and listen to what you have to say. I really appreciate that. You're incredibly analytical and very honest and direct about what you share and it's appreciated in a time when we get caught up with all this talk you just say what you feel and what you mean and i think that's really important and you're an incredible compliment to this phenomenal woman and that makes you in many ways equally phenomenal and i really appreciate that and andrea talks about and it resonates with me so much how your relationship over the different decades has been different every decade and has evolved and changed. And I think that's really a testament to how much you love her and how much you love yourself to be able to be flexible when we sometimes are so inflexible in how we are. You're open to that. And I really appreciate you, Daryl, and I thank you for everything that uh, you do for Andrea and you do for Casa and you've done for us. And so we love you and I congratulate you. And I cannot wait to get you involved in more stuff because you're so good at project management. Congratulations, Sarah and Andrea. We love you. I'll try to say a few words. I didn't actually plan to be speaking tonight. But um, the first thing I want to mention is that I want to thank everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for being here. I really appreciate it. And all the friends and family that are here. And Louie, thank you so much for all the work you did to organize this event. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. I know it's a lot of work, and I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is I wanted to thank everyone for being so kind and not asking me. Uh, I'm a person who's a creature of habit, and no one's asked me, I'm tired on May 24th. No one's asked me, on May 24th, did you get up in the morning, get dressed, and drive to work? <laughs> no, I did not. It didn't occur to me. And nor have I done that since then. 
I don't know I ever plan to do that again. So, thank you for not asking. I just wanted to mention that. Uh, get that out of the way. Uh, a lot of people have asked, what are you doing? Well, basically, I'm trying to get bored. Uh, I've worked for 40 years. Most of it was pretty hard, uh, intense work. And now I'm just trying to get bored, and I haven't succeeded yet. I seem to be busy every day. I don't know doing what, but I don't care. Because I don't have to care. Um, right. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, I'm fortunate in a lot of ways that through my, my career work, people <coughs> championed me and mentored me and helped me through the process and helped me get in a position where I'm able to retire. And um, I certainly encourage all of you out there, when you're able to, do it. There's no reason not to. Uh, and I want to thank Brendan, wherever you are, Brendan. You've helped me get here, and you've helped Andrew and I get here, so I thank you, thank you, thank you. That's Brendan Van Cleve. Hmm? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Brendan, where are you? I'm right here. Ah, there's Brendan. Brendan's my financial advisor. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> in a lot of ways, Brendan's the person that's made it possible for me to do what I've done. So, also known as a marriage counselor, too. <laughs> And a psychologist, and <laughs> you name it. You've been very patient in working with us and listening to us and helping us get to where we want to be, so I certainly appreciate that. I'm very thankful for that. So, um, I, uh, that's really all I think that I wanted to say. Uh, uh, again, thank you all for being here, uh, and thank you for all the kind words. I don't think I deserve all those kind words, but it sure is fun to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> I want to mention that... Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the reasons that I am retired now is because the CEO has been telling me for the last several years, you ought to retire. And I always said, well, no, I'll do that later. And uh, I kept trying to find the right time to retire. When was the best time? When was things right at work? When, was, when, was the, when were the conditions right? And I finally decided there isn't a right time. So finally, what actually happened was we had made um, reservations for our uh, timeshare in Hawaii and for, what, for another couple, and they decided not to use them. So I said, well, we're going to use them. And it happened to be on the week of May 23rd. So that was my retirement day. <laughs> Good choice. Because I kept missing, I had uh, eight weeks of timeshares and only two weeks of vacation. It just doesn't work out. So I said, that's it, I'm going. So I gave notice a month in advance and that was it. But the CEO is the one that actually prompted me and worked with me and said, it's time, it's time, it's time. And thank you so much. And I love you very much. Uh, I, um, Harold, uh, a number of people brought things for you, um, and I have to use this because I can't see anymore. Uh, but I wanted you to know that part of this is uh, here's your official retirement mug. Okay, so tomorrow you can start using this with your coffee. Um, and then, um, since you're spending more time with Andrea, here are jokes and quotes that you can do. And, and, and then here is um, Lotto Luck Retirement Planning Cards. So you can sit with your re retirement guide there and, and see if this works for you. And then finally, um, uh, this is a retirement sucker. It says work sucks. <laughs> So, this is a part of the stash that you're getting this evening. So, again, congratulations. Thank all of you for being here. I didn't thank uh, Armando Cortines, who's the photographer and really who did a lot of the work of the Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our, our
right there is food and it will be ready in about five minutes. So right now we'll have more music. Uh, grab a drink and in about five minutes you can enjoy dinner. Again, thank you for being here. Congratulations, Carol. Congratulations, Andrea. Thanks very much for being here. Good night. We have friends here who know us only in our 60s. So uh, I want to thank you on my behalf for being supportive of my husband. Uh, and he's, all, he's very, very wonderful in all of these wonderful things that he said. But for my wife, it's hard to live with Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. You don't blow them out, you have to go. 